Yeah, so what is your stance on marijuana? Uh, the question you will be answering um, on your voting papers next year is do you support the proposed cannabis legislation and control bill? And what you're voting on here is recreational cannabis for those people 20 and over. It is very different to the medicinal debate and I, and I think this is the problem I have with the question. because it's what so hap- vague. Yeah, what happens if mm. you're, you're really pro-medicinal uh, cannabis but not recreational? There's really no room for error there. You, you're either for it or you're not. So the key changes will be um, there's a minimum purchase and use age of 20. Um, there will be a ban on all marketing and advertising of cannabis. This is if it comes in. Um, there will be uh, harm minimal- minimalisation on packaging. So it will say on the packs this will cause you harm. Mm. It can do this, this, this. You can't uh, smoke it in public places unless it is licensed. So there will be the likes of your cannabis cafes. Um, there will be a limit on the sale. So you'll be able to have 14 grams of dried cannabis on on you and you'll be able to grow two cannabis plants at your property if you so choose. This is if we tick yes. If we tick no, obviously it will be the same as it is yeah. now and that is illegal for all unless you can go to the doctor and get a medical certificate as to why you need it. So 0800 the hits, will you be voting yes to the question, do you support the proposed cannabis le- legislation or will you be voting no? Hi Kate, what's your thoughts on this? What will you be voting? Hi, um, I'll probably be voting no. And why is that? Um, I watched this really great guy on the AIM show once, and he was saying how in Colorado they've done the same thing. And basically the big corporates take control over it, and instead of getting the kind of weed that you used to grow out in your backyard, they just up the THC levels, and the stuff that you're actually going to take into your body isn't like the natural green product that everyone thinks it is. Ah, wow. you've actually got a good point because I hadn't thought of that. I hadn't thought of it becoming commercial uh, like thing. And and you're right. But, but that is what the, the, the people who are backing this are saying, that that's a good thing, that there will then be regulation, whereas now um, you can get it from anywhere and this will bring in regulation. Yeah, but then, you, you know, the rich are going to get way more rich and then it's just going to... Where do you go from there? Yeah, well, it means that we will get tax dollars off it. But who do you want to be looking after your marijuana, the corporates or the the, the gangs? I mean, that's the decision you've got to make. Mm. Yeah, that's a tough one, but I'd still be voting no. No, no. Okay, thank you, Kate. It's a good good perspective. Yeah, um, might just quickly take another one. Why not? Lynn, good morning. What will you be voting? I'll be voting no. Why is that, Lynn? Well, they're trying to stomp out smoking altogether, aren't they? So they're banning cigarette smoking everywhere. Bad for your health. Yeah, and how are we going to try to legalise it? Do you know the interesting thing is, Lynn, is this is being billed as a health uh, referendum. They're saying this is a healthy way of, of bringing weed into society, which I, I found confusing, I have to say, because if we're trying to stamp out smoking, is it not the same harmful effects? You are for this, uh, Richie. Tell us why. Oh, like, I mean, it's been happening for a long time. But, um, you know, the people I know um, that use it, you know, um, that they've come off medication to, to use it mm-hmm. uh, instead of being on uh, antidepressants. They're on that. Um, there's no scientific um, evidence at all to show that it is bad for you. Uh, no, there's never, ever been a record. I'm sure Bruce will find some. But uh, <laughs> I'm, I, I, I'm pretty sure, you know, there's no records of anyone ever dying from it either. Yeah, well, um, no, there is. There is, because as soon as you inhale anything into your lungs, you can, you run the risk of, of creating terrible um, lung diseases. Oh, yeah, but there's been no direct from smoking too much marijuana has caused the death. Like, I had too much marijuana last night. Oh, I overdosed on marijuana. No, Richie, I think there will be some, um, perhaps, parents that might argue that that it contributed to the, the mental health problems of oh, their teenagers. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. But I mean, hey, when something like alcohol is so accessible and they're, and they're talking about marijuana being, I mean, holy hell, we're in a big, you know, epidemic here. I mean, come on. Okay, come so on. Our, our two biggest scourges in our country right now is depression and suicide and our road toll. How do you think this will impact those two things? I think for the people that are in trouble, I mean, I, yeah, I personally think the people that are going to go over the edge and forbid I say, you know, to do the unthinkable, it's going to happen to them anyway. I think the marijuana will help the people who who can be helped by the medication. I think, and it will, um, be, and it, and it will be done in a more uh, health, you know, health health way. Okay, all right. I really strong, appreciate I strong, your yeah, views. I re, 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 appreciate your views, but mm. strongly disagree. All yeah. right, Anon, this person wants to remain anonymous. They can in Northland, year twenty. Hello, Anon. That's you. Hi. Um, I am against it. 
Cool. Why? This is Why? a 20-year-old. This is interesting because you'd be able to get, get on it if it is legalised. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, but, like, I've grown up in an area where it is used a lot mm -hmm. and I've seen the negative effects firsthand. Um, it's been proven that your brain isn't fully developed until you're 25 and studies have also shown that with people that have been using it, their brain has like looked like a schizophrenic brain. Okay, so blow the science. You said that you've, you've grown up where it's used prolifically and you've seen negative effects. What have you seen in the people around you? Oh, just them not caring about their lives, not caring about their jobs. Like, all they want to do is wake and bake. Like, they just, it's just 24-7 smoking, smoking, smoking. They're not, like, they're just wasting their life away. Wow. Yeah, right. You've so, just helped me make up my mind. Honestly, you're right. 25-year-olds should be motivated and not, you know, live their own life, but wake and bake. I don't want no, that. No, I know that. But do we also want our, our world to be governed by the lowest common denominator? There's a lot of people out there that I suspect can use it responsibly. You know, it, yeah, it sucks that the world is governed by the, 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 yeah, the weakest person. Yeah, but sometimes person. you've got to do that to, to clean it up. And if that's the sacrifice, then I say um, if more less people are getting mental health problems, then mm. I don't see the negative and in not introducing Using it, I really, really don't. Yeah, but that's because you're not a user. It's not something you find a yeah, positive but part I'll of your life. Yeah, tell you what, if my 20 year old was do, was was smoking marijuana as their activity when they're bored, it's I'd a, be horrified. Of course it is, but it's it's not a sport. It's a hobby. <laughs> you know what I mean? I think it's a sport for some people. Well, it really that, that, is. Yeah, I guess so. But We're that's not, a great perspective. Yeah. Um, Anon, thank you from Northland. <laughs>